I love Luigi Noise, this is Luigi X Rules playing Mario and Luigi Bowser Inside Story DX. In my last episode, we explored so most of Black Beach and battled the first actual boss in the game, the Sea Pipe Statue. And then in this episode, we're gonna explore the Pump Works. As you can see, though, it's full of water. Look, over there! The wall that blocked the way! The water made it flood up! Let's swim over and look! Oh, right. Swim together, use Y. Or you can always use A and B to swim individually. It would come useful. I feel like they kept that tutorial in because you can press Y, which wasn't in the original game. And then... Blood. I feel all flashy. I think I drank too much. And then, after he stops drinking, that berry will go down. Oh, I get it. When Bowser drinks, the water flows into his belly. But when he stops, the water level drops back down. Huh? You think Princess Heat might be up ahead? Maybe right. Let's press on and keep our eyes peeled. Of course, do that will need Bowser's cooperation. Hey! What? Can you drink some more water for me? What? No, why? Um, um, your body's in rough shape. There's like a big crust. Why? Why do I wash it out? What the crust? Feels like a deal with the crust? No way. Oh, yeah. And you, you think you can pick me up in there? Of course. You can get my plane back? Definitely! You can make me better than Mario! Totally! Why not? Bwahaha! It's a deal. If you're for real, I'll drink as much as you want. Goes back to drinking and then... Ta-da! Alright, let's move on. Also, as you can see, the map's still displayed on the top screen. I like how you can do that. Just display it all times. Except it can get pretty annoying. I like to save that opportunity. One sister store, I, I I guess I forgot to do that. Anyway. I'll glue in all the time. Oh pipe your sting on the floor. How I long to slide down on upon you, for then I would pass through. Try see be gloomin. And this is Luigi, Mario, Luigi, Mario, Luigi. Oh, so just a simple alternating. And then after that, you get an attack piece. That's pretty snappy. And with the new area comes new enemies! This is the Bubble Blooper! It's level 3. What a coincidence, we're also level 3. And faster than it, apparently. And it's already dead. That was fast. Gives off 10 experience. But, if you lower the water level, It decides to become a dried blooper instead. So I'll beat these other guys just to kind of show off what his attacks are. I don't typically fight these guys because I usually leave the water level up except when I absolutely need it. That was slow. Again, I'm not used to fighting these dried bloopers, so I don't know, really know what they're like. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Siphon Gloves! Oh, those are awesome! How can I forget about the Siphon Gloves? Anyway, again, I like to keep the, the water level. On the top screen, I was moving as Bowser a bit. I'd say that the gameplay 
I'd recommend having the map open at all times, but at the same time, it can get kind of slow because it'll kind of slow down with the, like, it'll, oh, oh. the game likes to slow down every time you, Yeah. The game takes a while before it switches the water. This should kill off some of the bubble bubbles attack. And also, yes, spike blocks are still in this. Are still here. We'll take care of them. Oh yeah, and also in the last episode we got the rookie that rookie wear. Sorry, I forget. So anyway, what they'll do is they'll. Go down low and then try and attack you. Um, hang on. Oh boy, sorry about that. And then... It didn't take too long. It's a flying enemy, so... Hammers will not work. 25, that levels Mario up. Cool. Now, hmm. I'm saying if he has the Siphon Gloves, he should probably have more max BP. Also, I guess I'm showing that battle. So, here is a, one of the puzzles in this game. Lower the water level. And then hit the switch. And then that'll go away. And then you have to very slowly go ahead and raise the water level. And then ta-da, you can go. Nothing down there. Now water gonna lower again. Then hit the switch. Then, once again, gotta go ahead and raise the water level. Had to, they had to move out of the way because otherwise they would get hit. I can just use Y, really. Go down here, instead of going through that newly opened up pipe, then you can find syrup jars. For some reason, Luigi. Ooh, and the parry glasses. Okay, I guess that's something. We should check out the gear we have. Instead of picnic gear, we can have rookie wear. Burn for beginners, lowers the amount of damage taken. Like all wear is supposed to do. And anyway, um, you guys don't have a second thing. So, parry glasses. Well, wear will automatically guard against enemy attacks and increases their attack by 10%. Or I guess 10. Anyway. There is a, there are still Goombials here apparently. They're already dead because they only have like four HP. Luigi actually leveled up from that pathetic fight. All right, so they can defense for him. I don't think I've played his defense all that much. Probably next is going to be max BP. Oh wow, there's still two more hits in it. I'm very surprised I let me do that much. There we go. Get there. One up mushroom. You could turn back, but I'd recommend just going on where it completes the path. And I think it's just overall faster. Also, if you look on the top screen with the map, you can see that... The the one pipe actually leads somewhere. Then really, that just makes it a whole lot easier. So, hmm. go through this pipe. You find emo globing. All things lead to globing. Oh, precious DNA is door I see. Even doors have hearts. Yours cries for what goes bzzzt. Find it. Find the electric bzzzt. 
reunited with this lonely door. Oh, I must cry out. Globin! The Globin of it all! The evil Globins are so funny. Whole area up here that does nothing. Another save point. I mean, why not take it since it's so fast? Blue wants me to restore my HP and BP for some reason. Down this path, um, go upwards! There are two attack pieces. And luckily, they're really fast. You can't use your hammer in the... I would say in air, but you're not in mid-air. Alright, that's that battle done. Got some experience. This is a new enemy right down here. Get the hammer first strike to lower the defense. Alright, speed. As you can see, that guy grew once we hit him. Caught a proto battery, so that was four. Give me that BP. Siphon gloves are some of the best gloves in the game. And you get it so early on. I'd say proto batteries definitely gotta watch out because the more you attack them, the more. The bigger they get, which will grow them. It's really funny if you make them dizzy and then the, they grow, though, because like they'll become dizzy and then they'll grow. <laughs> and that's it, already done. Basically, the bigger it is, the more damage it deals. I think I might be able to stun you as well. Oh, and their normal item is a mushroom. Oh, and their attack, you couldn't see it, but they went up to the top screen and attacked from up there. That's one of the their attacks. It's not worth it to go up there yet. Oh yeah, and attackies. Only five left. Okay. So this room introduces you to a mechanic of this area. Oh, I guess the next room. <laughs> Down here, there's that. Can't really do anything about it. I can hear something. Down there. Hit the switch and it just... There really wasn't any point for that switch. Attack piece. gonna go fight this bubble blooper real quick. Alright, battle's won, battle's done, however you want to say it. Down here, you'll find a proto batter. <coughs> you should probably hammer, just to increase their speed. They have three different sizes, proto batters. One for being not hit, one for being hit once, and one for hitting the, being hit twice. Ooh, why not? Not quite as d many dizzies as the other time when I was playing the original. That's odd. Ew, normal drop of a syrup jar. That's useful. And that wasn't sarcastic. Another proto better up there. You can sneak up through here. Nothing really much else up here. I believe there is, yeah, a block over here containing two mushrooms. That's not what I expected to happen, but speedrun strats. Now, when I could go, I could get to the place earlier. Yeah, that's totally the intent. Also, I guess now you'll be able to see the small version of the Frodo Bat in battle. Frodo Bat Earth. Also, wow, there's so much moving stuff in the background if you can see it. Ooh, biggest form. The slowest moving of them all. Can be hard to hit. I guess scratch the slowest moving, I'm not sure about that, but I like turn off automatically in our house. But anyway, uh, we got this area here. This is the area I was thinking of that interest the mechanics. The hungry soul needs Groban. The hungry trombones needs more, and so.
so it leaps upon the, that which it craves. Oh, wildly ravenous childbone, how can I how can a globe coax you out by pushing that which floats? And end of discussion. And then you can hit this switch to make the spiky ball come out. And then push it into the trombone. It's gonna go through the burrows through the ground and then goes back there, even though I'm pretty sure those two areas do not connect. Also, I missed a block over here. Syrup guys. Nothing over here except for Proto Batter. I'll be fighting the, the, these two enemies. Double Wolf and the Proto Batter. And Mario leveled up from that battle to level 5. Nice. It's a good level to be at. Gonna increase his power. This is a bit. Maybe a bit too powerful with that. Attack thing. Oh, and Mario, Luigi, Mario, Luigi, Mario. Just alternating just the other way. Nothing up there. They just have that huge thing for them. Anyway, I'm gonna go attack this proto batter. That insect kills them. Wow. Ooh, rare item. Not. Not heals both Mario and Luigi, but enough about that. Level up. Just guys give out like 15 experience on their own, I'm pretty sure. Increased power, even more. Even though 30 might be a bit too powerful. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna increase his BP next. So. Now, this next room, they do have this, just so that this next area is not underwater. And then, inside, is Toadsworth. Master's Mario and Luigi, you're hale and hearty. After that great doubt and hailed me, I woke up. A bit adulpated. What about apple dated? I walked hither and thither, and now I've become quite stuck. Hey, where's the Princess Peach? Isn't she with you? What? The Princess? Don't tell me she was inhaled as well. Yes, Bowser got everyone. Ah, uh, we're in a real fix. Even Toadbrook doesn't know where the Princess is. Horus, the Princess. He reads the heart. This is a better crying animation than that Toad in the uh, Peach's castle got. All the horrors, all alone within Bowser's body. All the ornaments such fizz. Dear princess! Huh? Oh, yeah, right. We need to get Toadsworth out of here. He's lost it. The shame. The thing is, this barrier looks tough. I doubt even a hammer would dent it. Huh? Something's over there? Looks like the gap's too narrow for your body size. You'll never get through. Oh, yeah. What? Do you have an idea? I love that. I just had two. Also, see? Question mark, exclamation point. I see. I get it now. If there's something you don't know, just come talk to me. Ta-da! Genius! Now he's squashed you just... Well, anyone would just trust his brother enough to do that. Ta-da! They don't teach you how to do it! Ah, oh, man, you can't do it as fast as you could in the original, but... I guess I haven't shut that off. There's that button over there. Huzzah! Sweet freedom! Master Mario, Master Luigi, my deepest thanks. I dare say Master Mario and Co. Now she's the princess. Oh, yeah. 
marvelous. Simply marvelous. The princess must be sa made safe at all costs. Speaking of which, I should tell you, as I came over here, I spotted a huge fat bug by some door. It was wretched to be sure. I should to think about it. Think of it, but if it attacked the princess. Right oh, with that large foul bug in there. Sure hands of Master Mario and Luigi, I shall be off. I believe it will be with us all if I want to find the other toads in green when I can. Help the princess, I can't upon you. I was thinking of something that I forget. Oh, anyway, don't turn Mario back into regular Mario. You can do that by pressing B. I would recommend don't doing that against doing that. Also, why do I still have this up? Typically, I like to hook the water up, as I have already stated. Anyway, this was originally supposed to be a uh, platforming challenge. Even, like, just platforming, but you can just do that. Anyway, I think we made more than enough progress in this episode. So I can end it off here. In the next episode, we will be exploring the re rest of the pump works, collecting the electric bzzzt, and other stuff, I'm sure. Until next time, goodbye.